my DeWolf ancestors were known as the Great Folk in Bristol. There were professors and writers, artists and architects, and many Episcopal ministers. I was proud to be related to them. I was also drawn to this fairy tale world of old New England, these images of my grandparents when they were young. It never occurred to me to ask how we got so established. One day, my grandmother traced back. I was in seminary when I got a booklet in the mail that she wrote for all her grandchildren. She shared our family history, all the happy days. She also explained that the first DeWolf, Mark Anthony, came to Bristol as a sailor in 1744. And then she wrote, I haven't stomach enough to describe the ensuing slave trade. What hit me hard was the realization that I already knew this. Knew, but somehow buried it along the way. What no one in my family realized was that the DeWolfs were the largest slave trading family in US history. They brought over 10,000 Africans to the Americas in chains. Half a million of their descendants could be alive today.